the Lyme disease spirochete is far more virulent than trypanema pallidum. We don't know the end yet. You can't even make a smear with spirochete trophite and see it as an organism. It's there, but you don't see it. You cannot fight the spirochete. Why not? After all, I got a sick person here. He is trembling all over, he has uh, synovial fluid full, full of spirochete. But when it comes to blood, it's not there. So there is something associated or due to this uh, organism that makes it different. I have been a believer in persistent infections because people suffering of Lyme disease and then 10 or 15, 20 years later on after they have recovered or if they still uh, are sick that the sickness may be because of returning spirochetes into the bloodstream. Because it appears that this organism has the ability to be sequestered in tissues and could, or it is postulated, that it could reappear bringing back the clinical manifestations it caused in the first place. These are controversial issues by microbiologists as well as by physicians who are supposed or who are asked to treat patients. The controversy in the Lyme disease research is a shameful affair. And I say that because, because the whole thing is politically. Politically um, tainted. Money goes to people that have, in the past 30 years, produced the same thing. Nothing. Uh, serology or serology plus has to be started from scratch with people that uh, don't know beforehand the results of their research just because they have to get the money. Without it, they cannot afford it. So, and I include, when I say shame, I, I, I include physicians who don't even have the courage to tell a patient you got Lyme disease, and I don't know anything about it. We have lots of physicians around that wouldn't touch a Lyme disease patient. They tell the nurse, you tell the guy to get out of here. I don't want to see him. <laughs>